There it is, total lunar eclipse from just moments ago. Shots coming into us from the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona. We have live pictures as well going on right now, just past the moment of totality. We're going to look at that together with Nicole Mortolaro. There it is there up on the screen. Nicole's our senior science writer. She's all caught up in this, as so many are, this incredible phenomenon in the sky. Uh, look at what is happening, Nicole, and tell us what we've been seeing and what is happening and why this one is so special. Well, you know, this is the blood flower moon, <laughs> uh, sorry, flower super moon. Um, it's, these eclipses have, uh, or all these moons have uh, little nicknames. And the super moon occurs when the moon is the closest in uh, its monthly orbit around Earth. So that's basically now. And we have a total lunar eclipse where the moon glides through Earth's shadow. And now Earth actually has two shadows. We have the penumbra, which is the outer shadow, which is fainter. You can't really notice that so much with your with the naked eye. And then you have the umbra, which is the darker part of uh, Earth's shadow. And so Earth is moving across that, or sorry, the moon is moving across that. And that's what gives us something that's so special. And this is the only total lunar eclipse of the year. Um, so sometimes, you know, they call it the blood moon too. Uh, like I said, they've got a lot of nicknames for this. Uh, the blood moon occurs, it's just a nickname because when a total solar uh, lunar eclipse happens, um, it, the moon kind of depends on what, you know, what's in uh, Earth's atmosphere, but can turn a reddish color. And that's because all the sunrises and all the sunsets on Earth are actually reflecting back at us from the moon, those, that reddish color. And so it's, it's actually a lot of fun to watch this. Unfortunately, it's happening really early in the morning in some parts. That is true, but uh, people are devoted. They'll be up watching if they can, wherever they are, mostly on the West Coast, of course. Uh, yeah. The shots that we are getting coming in, as I mentioned, from Arizona and from Sacramento, California, where they're getting the best view of things. This is extraordinary as we look at this live, uh, the superflower blood moon and that total lunar eclipse coinciding right there before us. As you said, Nicole, it's rare. It's the only one of this year. It's the first one since January of 2019. And we're not going to get another one, as I mentioned, and as you mentioned, again this year. But that does not mean that next month we don't have something else special to look forward to. Yeah, this time it is a type of solar eclipse, and that's an annular solar eclipse. Um, and so that happens. So the moon is uh, 400 times smaller than the sun, but it's also 400 times closer. So what happens is the moon fits just perfectly over the disk of the sun. And that's when we get a total solar eclipse. But an annular solar eclipse happens when the moon is just a little further away and it doesn't cover the disk of the sun quite perfectly. And so you kind of have that like little ring of fire around it. And that's going to happen on June 10th. And that will be visible across most of Canada as a partial solar eclipse, so we'll see a little bit of it. But up north and in parts of uh, northwestern Ontario, you'll actually be able to see that annular solar eclipse. And if you've missed this lunar eclipse, another one will be happening. It's called a partial on November 29th. It'll look like a total, uh, like a total lunar eclipse. So hang in there. We have some more great stuff happening in the sky soon. June 10th, already noted in the calendar. We'll look forward to talking to you that morning, too. Thanks, Nicole. Appreciate it. Thanks. If you want to read more about all of this, uh, Nicole's written a super explainer. It is up online for you this morning at cbcnews.ca. And Chris, we cannot take our eyes off this. How? I don't know mm -hmm. that we've ever shown something live on our program. Total lunar eclipse, we've come out of totality. That was uh, set for 7-11 Eastern time, so we're just past totality. But again, as we look at this through the camera based in Sacramento, California, there it is. Yeah. Timing-wise, the west wins on this one, nope. uh, Heather, no doubt. <laughs> it certainly does.